Friday, 6th February 1980, Starehe Boys Center experienced an afternoon like no other. The bastion of academic excellence nestled in the sprawling Islay area had the privilege to host a VIP like no other. A guest who had three world heavyweight boxing titles in his hall, a man whose personality was larger than life. I am the greatest. He had adjusted his itinerary to visit Starehe Boys soon after meeting President Daniel Arap Moy. That day, Frederick Makoha, now 69 years old, reported to work earlier than usual. He was a school carpenter and knew a special visitor was coming to the school. The school had hosted high-profile guests before, but none had prompted the erection of a boxing ring. Makoa remembers the tall gentleman who had a distinct walking style, surrounded by school officials led by the late Dr. Geoffrey Griffin. Makoha was part of the team that made the makeshift boxing ring on which Muhammad Ali would display his trademark moves to the eager students. The boxing ring was set up right there at the quadrangle where the students used to conduct their assembly. Shadrach Orowe works as a clerical officer at Starehe Boys Center. He was quite young when Ali visited the institution. Oroe's father worked at the center and the family lived within the school compound. Oroe back then struggled to understand his father's excitement. But when he saw Ali trading mock blows with members of the Starehe Boxing Club, he knew a sports star was in town. And at that time we could remember, I could remember but not clearly, seeing him sparring with the boys inside the ring. The memory of that famous visit has a special corner at one of the school's administration block. Snapshots of a global sporting icon who traveled all the way from the United States of America to mingle with young Kenyan boys. Reporting for Citizen Weekend, I'm Bernard Dong.